So one of the things that we want to be able to do is to create a virtual network, meaning that we want to be able to see my Raspberry Pi screen, not on a monitor, but on my MacBook. I want to be able to control it without always having to hook it up to a monitor. And so we showed you how to do that using the terminal, but I want to be able to also show you how to take the screen and actually see everything that we'd see here on this monitor, but on my MacBook. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the Raspberry and we're going to go to preferences like we've done before and we're going to head over to uh, the Raspberry Pi configuration. And as we've done, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so you can see. Eventually, I won't have to keep zooming in because I'll just be able to record right from my Mac. Um, we're going to go to this interfaces. And just like before when we enabled the SSH, we're now going to enable the VNC. And so the virtual net virtual network connection. So we're going to go ahead and click enable. And when we do that, we're going to hit okay. It's probably going to ask us to restart or it should. And so I am going to shut this down and reboot it just to make sure those changes took effect. So once this reboots, we will move on here. Um, to the next part of this project. All right, so you're gonna notice over in the upper right hand corner, and I'm gonna zoom this in so you can see here again. We now have another icon. You can see this right here. And so when we go to click on this, you're gonna see we've got uh, a whole host of stuff here. The connectivity, um, this is this that what we can do, the identity check, all that good stuff. We're gonna click here to the hamburger and we're going to choose options. And when we do that, it's going to give us this. All right. And once we've got that in the security tab, which we're already clicked on right here, okay, this encryption, we're gonna prefer off and the authentication, the authentication, I can't even say that word. Can you say that word? Try saying it three times real fast. I can't even say it once. All right, we're gonna choose this to be um, our VNC password. So once we have that, then in our users and permission tab, the very next one down, all right, we're gonna click on standard user here, and we're gonna click on password, and then you're just going to choose whatever password you want. So I'm going to go ahead and type my password in now that I want to use. All right. And then once we got that, we're going to click OK. And then we're going to click OK again. All right. And then we need the IP address, which should be this right here, but just in case, remember from the other video, we could open up our terminal, just like we've done before, right? And if we remember the command, we can just type in ifconfig, all right? And it's going to give us under the WLAN, it's right here, all right? And just so you can see, it's the same as that right there. And then we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna wanna make a note of this, so, I'm gonna go ahead and write this down just so I have. All right, and then we're going to move over to the Mac. My Finder, okay. Once I'm in my Finder, I'm gonna head up here to Go. And once I have here, then I'm going to be searching for Connect to Server. And once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out here. And I'm gonna type in VNC colon here, and then I'm going to add my IP address. So once I've got that, I'm gonna connect. It should then ask for a password. So this is a password I just added on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this password in. This keeps people from hacking in and all that good stuff. And once I connect, I should see, look at, boom. There it is. And so now I have my Raspberry Pi screen here on my Mac. You can see that I'm moving the mouse. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a delay, which is okay. So I can actually go through now, look at, I can X out of that terminal. I can X out of here. 
I am now in position to control my entire Raspberry Pi here from my Mac and my computer. So this is really helpful, especially if you're a classroom teacher, if you want to teach these things. But more importantly, if you don't have 30 extra monitors, you don't have all those types of things to, you know, 30 extra um would be mice, 30 extra keyboards, because most schools don't have those anymore. Um, this is a way to do it. And then it also helps when you start to create automation projects, uh, try to create robots. You don't have to be tethered to a monitor and or the wall. So this is how we create a virtual network connection with a Raspberry Pi and a Mac.